Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage bag haul unbagging. And if you're watching this on Thursday, happy Thanksgiving. Doing it at a different table. Put a towel down so it won't be too noisy when it hits the table. All right. Looks like some dyed howlite. Not a bad design though. This is cute. A little cuckoo clock. Not missing anything as far as I can see. Heavy. Oh, it's older. And it's a Jerry's. Very cute. An H. This is cool. Very interesting. It's definitely an older piece. I don't know if these are supposed to look kind of like an olive green or if they're just clear that have turned. Look at that. Such an interesting design. I love that. Some little stud earrings. I'll have to check to see if these are any of them are silver or gold. Cute. Oop. Some hoops. I think they're worn. At first I thought maybe it's silver and gold tone, but I think they're very worn. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. I'm loving the marquee shaped stones lately. Ooh, I guess it's gold filled and the company is Ink, I-N-C. So pretty, dainty. Don't know if that's a real pearl. Definitely could be. This chain doesn't seem like it's gold filled, but I will check. No. No. That's okay. I love it. Really pretty. An earring. It's in pretty good shape except for this little corner here. Ugh, let's see. It's gonna be knots, tangles. Ooh, that's an interesting rock. Cool. Always very heavy on the glue on these things. I guess it's necessary. Look at that side though, that's pretty cool. You can almost see clear little crevices in there. Totally smooth though. Nice. See two earrings right off the bat. Little clip-ons. Kind of a matte finish. Everything is clumped together in here. Oh, the lily of the valley, little stick pin, enamel, very cute. A little ring, amethyst type stone in it. Oh, 
little clip on. Another ring. I think that's dark red, actually, right? Gold electroplated, probably. Can't see it. Oh, Avon. Okay. I think I've had this before. I don't think there's a clasp. Nope, there's not. And it's plastic. Dirty. Plastic and dirty. An eagle. I guess this is something for a scarf to run through. Or a bolo tie type thing. He's going in for the kill. <laughs> These are, oops, with some weight to them, metallic y. Little bracelet, stretch. This is a bracelet with some. Teardrops. Looks like it's got wear on the edges, on the tips. Let's see if it has a name on it. Uh, nope. They're all there though. Not bad. Mm, pretty purple stones. I like them when they're that kind of purple, kind of a dusty purple. I don't know if it's because it's aged. It could be that's, you know, just the age of it. That's that color, but it's super pretty. A brooch with some pink rhinestones, two flowers. Mamsel. Mamsel. I'm not sure if I've had that one before. It's not bad. Not bad. A leaf pin with some pearls. That's a classic. I found a lot of those. Here is a cute little clamshell thing on this big flat necklace has the clasp like that no markings I'm assuming it yeah clicks in like that I don't know if these belong together uh, or somebody just slid it on because they liked it cute One of these Damble bracelets that's got a lot of wear on it. And it is coral. Yeah, it's seen some better days. But, and the safety chain is gone. But somebody might be able to fix that up. Another one of these. Another stick pin, cute flowers, enamel. Cute. It's just a chain. I'm not going to take it out. But it is a chain. A watch from Ancline 2. This is from an earring or something. This is missing a stone, but it's a uh, pretty screw back. I guess they don't have the other purple one. This looks like an earring with a cherub and a heart. Pretty fancy. There's some lines up there, but I don't think it has a word unless it's that hill. These are cute. 
but I'm not seeing the other one. A chain, really long chain. Can't tell if, eh, it's got a lot of wear. A pendant. We had something that looks like jade and a pearl. And a little, I don't even think there's a diamond chip. I think it's just raised, you know, silver. These, which give me such a hard time. This is all a tangle. That's gonna be fun to untangle. These look like um, real pearls and some nice muted colors. Yep, it's Honora, but it needs to be untangled. Some glass beads. Have some chains here. Something is getting stuck on everything. This is the culprit. Uh, Okay, it's one of those ones that you pull, but this is very tarnished and it's broken. A couple different necklaces here. This one reminds me of an Avon one that I have in green. Avon, yep with a chain stuck to it, broken chain. I think I have this one in green instead of white. This is cute. This is, I don't know if they're stone or glass, but they're one or the other. Definitely stone or probably, I'm gonna say glass, right? I don't know. They have like little speckles in them. Silly. Little necklace with leaves. And this. This is a nice shape. It's got the pearls and little gold sections. Is it Avalon too? Yeah, I think it is. Doesn't say it, but I think it is. That's in good shape. And then another chain here might be gold filled. Let's check it out. Oh, it's broken. Yep, it's gold filled. Well, at least the spring ring clasp is, but it does feel the gold filled. I'm guessing that would be easy to fix. That has the loop on this side. And okay, that's what it is. This was attached to that, but that's worth saving. I like the gold filled beads. I mean, the gold filled necklaces because they really do have a better quality. This is pretty stone, like a metallic red. Got a lot of wear, so it's just um, a play ring. A big, I'm gonna say art glass. It's an old one. I'm gonna say that's a that's glass, not a stone. And it reminds me of skin, like broken blood vessels. Sorry but, or cap capillaries, I don't, that's what it reminds me of. I don't love it, but maybe somebody might. It's a cute little screw back earring with something on it. Might be gold over silver. Kind of like a pinwheel. Remember those pinwheels when you were a kid? I always bugged my mother in the grocery store to get me a pin with those pinwheels. 
this is in bad shape. It's kind of a cool green though. I like the green color. I like any kind of green. Stretchy plastic. Another one. That's a shoe clip with some nice colors in it. This looks like it's silver and copper and I don't know. I think it was welded together, so I don't know if it's real silver. It could be. These are cute. That's really pretty. I like the style of it. Here's another one. It's missing the rose on the top. Shoot. Bummer. Maybe I'll find the rose somewhere. Because these are really neat. Can't get them to get straight now, but I like those. Heart brooch. Not very well made, but it's not bad. That has a lot of wear. Definitely a lot of wear. Some faux pearls that are broken. Little stud earring and a nice rusty orange. I love that color. A little earring. This probably belonged to some earring. A little screw back earring. Very dirty, but cute. You know, I like the screw backs. Don't see the other one. Another little pearl, a cute color. Can't, okay. Can you read that? Rich. Is it Reichland or Richland? Something like that. I don't think I'm familiar with that name, but here's the other one. They have a nice luster. Little crisps earring. Is this a, um, for the men's shirt, like a cufflink type thing that would go in it's stretchy. Oh, this, another one? I don't know what that is. Very delicate, like, like it's real gold. This is supposed to be maybe like jade. I don't think it is, but it's got, it's cold and it's got weight to it, but it's got a very cheap clasp there. So it's, I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's definitely some kind of stone. Another broken set of pearls. Little gold stud earring. Let's see. Sometimes it'll say it's gold. I don't think so. But these are good to have, the little studs. When you don't know what to wear and you don't want to wear anything too too big or dangly. Oh, oh I'm not seeing the other one. This little pearl, that looks genuine. But it has a really nice luster. Super lightweight chain, it's almost like thread, but it doesn't have a clasp. 
but it's like almost like thread, but I'm guessing it's metal. Something similar to this. Might be different flowers. There's a little back of an earring in there. Could always use that. So light. No. It's pretty. I think I do have that in a different flower. One of these for eyeglasses. This is from a watch. And then we have these. I have lots of earring backs. Different color blue, cold, some sort of stone beads. And blue and also this. I don't know if that's mother of pearl. No. I don't know what that is but different color blues, and they are natural. They appear to be. Okay. This is pretty, a little bent up. A pin. And is this to use it for like part of a necklace or something? Patent pending or patent applied. Maybe you could hook it on part of a necklace or something. It's a harvester. Harvester. Have not heard of a harvester. Well, this is one of those bracelet ring things. I know who would like this. Anitra. I Spy Queen. This is a nice one, kind of like um, Egyptian Revival type. Ooh, pretty. I'll have to put that to the side for her. Really pretty stone in this um, tie clasp. Very pretty. One of these, I've had these before, and they always seem to be missing something. I don't know what it is with this, the glue in this. Look, it's in here. So that could be fixed. The bamboo with the, um, I guess it's jade or jadeite. Ooh, I had one of these rings. Look at the glue on there. Number, oh, it's size seven. It's totally covered with glue. Oh, I haven't seen one of these before. It's got uh, a comb, a hair comb. It, yeah. So I guess it would go in the hair and you would clip it down to stay. Wow, fancy. This is in bad shape too. Bulava. An Olympic um, watch, USA. A very worn out ring. Pretty, pretty clip ons. Kind of remind me of an octopus. Probably look nice on. Yep, here's the other one. New Year's Eve, right? They're pretty. Stretchy bracelet with some pretty green stones in it. Very nice. Flashy. Birdie. Pretty enamel bird. Is it cherries? Nope. Just has a number. That's weird. Pretty. It's got nice dameling on it. That's a cool ring. Let's give a look. 
let's say. I think it actually says something. Is that AE or? Uh, I think it's 12 karat electroplated. They just put it kind of differently, but it's cool. Oh, if I put it on, can I get it off? Uh, I'm not thrilled with my nails, but they'll do for now. I'm going to be transitioning over to the Christmas look soon. So, not quite yet. But that's kind of cool, right? Let's see if I can get it off. I did. Another ring. Oh, I love Goldstone. Oh, and the setting's so cool. But look at that. I wonder if I could get that off of there. That's so cool. I love that on the side. Wait a minute. Is it adjustable? No. Not even my size. Still would like to try to fix it. It's very pretty. Well, choo choo train. Speak enough. I just heard the train. Tie clip. Ooh. Multi strand with a toggle. Nothing written on the toggle. But this is a nice look. heavy they're kind of light I don't know if that's some kind of glaze over them or something they're trying to look like something else but they're lightweight I, I don't know what that is a little red stretchy a little pretty Timex These are pretty. I thought they were like filigree, but they're just like a pattern. Choker, pretty. Cute clasp. Sandor, I think I've seen that name before. I think it's a good one too. Sandor. Sounds familiar. I think I've seen that before. I think I had something, but it was in bad shape. And then I looked it up and it was a it was a good name. Some moon glow. Clip earring. Like a sky blue. Trying to see if I can locate the other one. Oh, not at this moment. Oh, here it is. I take it back. Those are so cute. Especially with short hair. So you can show it off. They're bold. A little adjustable ring. Can't tell if it goes... It's just dirty at the ends. I wonder if that can get cleaned up. It's just adjustable, but it's cute. I'm missing a blue stone here. Older. Jerry's. Cute, classic. These are nice. I fully expected it to say Monet. That's very Monet-ish. Oh, what does it say? Maybe it is. Or maybe it's not. It is Monet. The way that it's written, I just... They're in nice shape. The other one's right here. How would they go? Oh, like this. Very pretty. You can wear those with everything. <gasps> Look. Like the guilloche. What they call the enamel. With the little flower. And it's adjustable. 
Oh, and it's too small. I don't want to stretch it too much because then it stretch it out of shape. Oh, that's beautiful. Little rose. How cute. I've seen this before. I have seen that before. I don't remember where. I think I had a ring like this. It's old. Kind of like chunks of turquoise, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Kind of blue. Ring brooch. Circle, whatever you want to call it. Another circle. With a little pearl. Did it say anything? No. It's a nice hefty earring. And it's Monet. I thought it was a heart, but it actually goes like this, so it's just a swirl. And they are heavy. Is this the other one? No, that's different. Oh, that's Erwin Pearl. Okay, let's keep looking. Where are you? Other one? No, 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 oh, okay, no, that's the other. That's not even the other. That's Napier. Okay, these are so similar, it's kind of weird. Um, so I guess we don't have the other one. That's a shame. These are all Monet. I can see some wear on them, but they are cool. Let's get this big watch out of the way. Like a massive watch. From Andre Monique. Andre Monique. Never heard of him. Or whoever that is. Never heard of it. It's a big, it's chunky. Yeah, this matches. Maybe it's something, some decent, but my goodness, it is a big. I don't know if you can see how big that is. I haven't heard of it. No surprise, but big, sunny, happy, bright. And I think I have another one of these. So pretty. Kind of reminds me of that show. I don't, you know, 70s, definitely with the bright flowers and stuff. But was it laughing? I don't know why it reminds me of laughing. No, I was born in 65, so. I'm really remembering the 70s stuff. A little silver ring. I love the 70s. Cute little heart, the purple stone. Cute. This is also cute. Got little stones around it, adjustable. At first I thought it was like a one of those badges for the, like the sheriff, you know. Is that an animal? I can't. It is. It's like um, like a horse with a piece of art glass, I would say, in it. Right? Is that a horse? Or a lion? Hmm. I wonder if it's means something. I don't know. It's cool. That's neat. Look at that. C clasp. Or it's just broken. But that's cool. I think that's copper or something. Copper coated. Very cool. I like that. 
a little like stackable ring. I don't see anything. Is that something? Gosh, it's so small. Yeah. It, I, those might be words. Maybe. No, I think it's just texture. I don't know. A little stackable ring. Another ring. Oh, that name I never remember. <sighs> yeah, you know. I'll take another look so you guys can know and I always forget. I think it's that one. The glare is just not... Premier Design. Bingo, I did it. It's nice, but it's only, it's like a, like a size six or something. Hey. Cool Aurora Borealis. That's vintage. But hey. Put that with Anitra stuff. <laughs> Pretty. Metal flower. It's cute. It's got some wear, but it's cute. What is this? That seems really old. I do believe it is. I think it's a skier, but they're missing the poles. I think the face is enamel, yeah. Wow. Is that what it is? Like the skier? And he's kind of pushing back, and he might have had skis. I mean, like the poles. That's amazing that it's that tiny and the face is enamel. That's pretty cool. Look at this puppy. That's so cute. Oh, he's so heavy. The little collar and the little leash. Oh, he's so cute. And I'm marked. That's his swank. So I guess it's swank. He's so cute. That is cute. Love doggies. This is pretty. I like this. It's got the, the piece of the branch underneath. That's not marked. Wow. That's really pretty, that design. It's got the branch and the leaves hanging over it. That's really pretty. I haven't seen something like that. I've seen a lot of different leaf designs, but that's different. Hey, what's that say? Baseball Hall of, Hall of Fame, Cooperstown, New York. I went there. A little memorabilia that's cute. I went there. It was so boring. What? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, you know, went for the kids, for my sons. I don't know. This is like a copper. And this, hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. So, hmm. I don't know. Well, so I guess if it's good, the, got the right color stones in it. Sometimes I think people like paint it or something. But no, I think this is the way this came. And these just look like a light green. Or maybe they were clear at one time. Then you have these. It's not bad. It's different. It's different. I'm not going to say it's bad. Here's some thistle. And a nice rope design. It's either thistle or it's just kind of those things like the tie backs for your curtains. But it's pretty. This is pretty. C-clasp, definitely. 
definitely old. And I like the way those stones look. I'm trying to get a close up. I know they're not real. Well, I don't know because I don't have a tester, but um, the way they cut them is so pretty. Nice sparkle. Oh, one of those lipstick holder things. The mirror. Mirror. With the guilloche enamel. Cute. Very cute. Hmm. That is different. Definitely a different flower design. I kind of like it. Well, how would you describe that? Kind of uh, modern. Not really brutalist, but modern. Trippy ice cream cone. I don't know. But I like it. It's different. I like different. These are pretty. Silver and gold. Not marked. But they're kind of like the um, door knocker. Not bad. Well, this necklace kind of goes with that, um, that brooch. You know, that rope design. This is pretty. They're plastic. I think it says, yep, Napier. It is pretty. It's in really good shape, too. The gold is all there. This one's giving me a hard time. It has that, the, these two, these sections in it. I like that. It's very classic and fancy. These earrings. Oh, no. I do have a match for this one. And I forgot. These are Monet. So these go like that. Those are pretty. And they are heavy duty. Kind of like lips going sideways. At first I thought they were going to go like this, like hearts. But these are a nice shape. These are those cufflink type things. I guess they could be cleaned up. Okay, I can never tell if these are bent in the wrong way. This may be it. Oh, they they move. Durr. Okay, I thought it was bent, but they move. I did not know that. Hey, that is a uh, don't know. That's an old ring, and somebody put something on there, and I have no idea what that is. A little ID bracelet with Aurora Borealis. I've never seen that. That's so cute. I love the chain, too. That's a cute one made nicely normally you just see them plain but this has the little little discs and the aurora borealis stones that's cute is it oh my goodness is it silver no nope but it's really cute i know there's still places you can go to get things uh, personalized. Very cute chain. I like that. Broadway! A pin to celebrate your trip to Broadway. Oh, uh, this is one of those West Germany lightweight necklaces, but it's broken. Bummer. I think we should do one more if I can get my hands on it. Oh, 
one more. Okay. Mm. This is nice except for the really dark and this is kind of yellow. And they're not open in the back, so it would be very hard to clean. Older pin. Oh, it's that kind that you could just move around. This would be good for a crafter to kind of harvest some of these good stones. This is a pin, and it's also a clip, like a sweater clip or something. It's marked Mark with some Roman numerals. Mark. I haven't seen that one. But it looks like a ram. Swirly. Nope, I didn't try to throw it like a frisbee. It just fell out and it poked me. And it's got some wear. Enamel bangle with a D. Original by Robert. Hmm. It's almost the same thing. Looks like a little like artist palette as the the one I just looked at. I don't think I've had that name before. This is a big rope. It's got some wear. It's heavy. These little playful beads. I like the colors. Reminds me of the 70s. Uh, broken earrings and can't tell. This is Oh, this is plastic. Plastic kind, of, plastic kind of hematite look. Mm. I don't think that would be um, Bakelite, but I could test it with some Simichrome. Oh, look at these earrings. I love that color. Hong Kong. Like a moon glow orange. That's beautiful. Oh, a little donkey. And it's made out of some sort of rock, stone. They stand up. Yes. Cute. I've had this before. And I've had them in the style of the um, scarabs. And it's, I don't know what it is, what material. It almost feels like chalk. I don't care for it. I don't know what it is, but I would like to know. Pretty. Easy to open. It might be even, doesn't want to snap, but it stays closed. Cute enamel. Oh, a little shamrock. Oh. This is a nice chain. I like that style. It might not. Oh, no, it does have a clasp. Monet. It's pretty. I wonder if I can clean it up. What that is. And this looks like mother of pearl beads and hematite or hematite, some people say, with a toggle clasp. Not bad. I love mother of pearl. I really, really do. But I think that is it for tonight. Did I have another bag? Oh, 
we're already 50 minutes, so I do have other bags, but I think I'll save it, you know? Um, I've already got a pile to clean up, but um, everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching, and like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy your day and the rest of the week. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.